Did, did the governor ask for your resignation? The governor did not because I did not give him an opportunity. I beat him to the punch and, and resigned. You didn't talk with him, though? I have not spoken to the governor about this, no. I spoke to Moral Harriman. Did, did Moral Harriman ask you to resign? Moral Harriman told me that uh, unless this audit draft that he saw changed, they would have to ask me to resign. And I said, Moral, you don't have to do that. I resign. So it sounds like he did, he did ask you to resign, then. No. No, I don't think so. I, I, I resigned before he had the opportunity to. You can talk to Moral about it if you'd like. It sounds like they they made the governor's attention in, the governor's uh, intention known to you that he would wanted you to re resign and then you resigned. Unless this audit draft changed, so I said, well, let, just let me make the decision right now, which was yesterday, and I I resigned yesterday. In fact, to close the business today. If you hadn't resigned, do you feel like he would have asked you to resign? Yes. The, was it in that meeting with Moral that that you uh, that you offered? Did you just offer it on the spot? Yes. Hey, I read the draft report. I'm not happy with that draft report. I've been saying for months the buck stops with me. I need to act like it. Do you regret not resigning sooner? No. Some people have described this as you taking a bullet from the agency. Is that how you feel about it, or is it just you're taking responsibility? Which is it? Well, I'm not sure what the difference is between a bullet and responsibility, but I should certainly take responsibility from the director of the agency. So that's what I did today. If you're taking responsibility, why did you then go on to say that Robert Ariza had lied about you? Well, I just couldn't let that stand. I'm sorry. Yeah, and, and if you read the report, there's, his testimony directly contradicts on the same page of the audit report. You know, one, one side of the page, Mr. Ariza is saying correctly that he told me borrowing from federal grants was allowed. He recommended it to me. And on the other column, the same page, to say that he told me it was not authorized and I direct him to it otherwise, uh, you know, that just can't stand. You know, I'm responsible for the Forestry Commission, but I have a reputation too. I just, I just couldn't let that stand. He, impl he implied just a minute ago that you weren't telling the truth in some of the things that you said. Do you, do you think you were, you were or do you, do you have a response to what he said? He implied that you weren't telling the truth. He being Mr. Arise? Yes, sir. No, I've told the truth here. Do you, do you think his actions were criminal? I don't know. But I, I think I heard today this will be going to the prosecuting attorney's office. Mm -hmm. so, well, they, they described it as inappropriate and possibly in violation of state law. Yeah, uh, I'll, let, I'll let other folks do that job. I don't know. Are, Are you concerned that you might have done anything that was against the law? I'm not. So you're not concerned that the prosecutors will find anything that you're liable for? Uh, I'm not. Uh, I'll certainly work with the prosecutors if they want to call me, but I'm not concerned about that. Any regrets? Well, you know, this used to be the best job in the state of Arkansas, and I told that to people many times. And the Forestry Commission employees are just fantastic people. It'll get to be the best job in Arkansas again for the next state forester, and, and that'll be a good day. And look, I've had 18 years, everything ends. You know, and I had 17 years and three quarters of the best job in Arkansas. Who might have complained? Do you feel like there's anything you could have done to prevent all of this? Do you feel like there's anything you could have done to prevent all of this from happening? Well, sir, I, I would have had to have been told right from the start that Shannon, we're going to have a hard time making the payroll and our current funding structure isn't working and things have got to change. And I would have gone straight to DFNA and the governor's office and we would have gotten started on this back in around 2010. I've seen emails though in 2010 where you, you did say you were going to need a supplemental to make your fiscal change. I guess what happened in November or October that qualified as crashing into the mountainside that wasn't clear before? Determination that all this borrowing from federal grants was not authorized, which I learned in November, and learning that all these certifications of income were false. And, and poor Mr. Bell, you know, Secretary Bell, signed several of those. I didn't even have an opportunity to review the Forestry Commission certifications of income. Did you feel like Mr. Rice went behind your back and I, I don't, asked Mr. Bell to sign those? I don't know why he went to Mr. Bell. I don't know. And 
I'm going to take about two weeks off and look for work. We okay? Appreciate your interest. Forestry Commission is an outstanding group. Don't don't judge a Forestry Commission by this financial mismanagement. We got tremendous people out in the field.